MPC. Happy Monday. Let's now have Presidential Spokesperson and uh, Pres Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good morning, MPC. Merry Christmas. Questions? No more. Thank you. MPC, question? <laughs> Sino? Joseph. Comment, sir, dun sa in approved sa US na December 20 that imposes, um, that denies entry to officials of the Philippines who are responsible for the, den the detention of Senator De Lima. Well, uh, we, we cannot interfere on the process of the US legislature. But I notice that in that provision that has been approved, there is a, a colatilia. If the, what does it say here? When the US Secretary of State Shall receives apply? Credible information in the so-called wrongful imprisonment. In the first place, it's not a wrongful imprisonment, as we have repeatedly explained that. So I suppose the Secretary of the State, unlike the two senators who introduced that amendment, is better informed and educated on the internal judicial process of this country and would necessarily follow his informed judgment. Meaning you don't believe that this will be imposed on officials of the Philippines. It cannot just be imposed because there is a kulatila there. There must be a credible information. If the information is not credible, then the U.S. Secretary of State will not impose such sanction. Just for sound with purposes, sir, when you say it's not a wrongful detention, what do we mean by that? Uh, as we have repeatedly explained, it cannot be a wrongful detention because the senator went through two processes, one administrative when the investigating prosecutor conducted a proceeding to determine whether there exists a probable cause for the filing of an information. And the prosecutor found the existence of one. And then the other process is judicial. The Constitution requires the judge before issuing a warrant for the arrest of an accused to determine personally examine the evidence before him and if he finds probable cause then he issues a warrant of arrest. So how can that be a wrongful detention? Maybe trump up charges? If that is a trump up charge then the prosecutor could have seen it <coughs> as well as the judicial officer who issued the warrant. Sir, will we make any communication to the U.S. with regard to the circumstances of the arrest of the senator to correct, if I can use that word? I will leave that to the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Follow up, Ace. Thank you, sir. So, Secretary, you're confident that mm. no official would be affected by the ban because you're claiming that the detention of Senator De Lima is not wrongful. So are you confident that no official would be barred from entering the U.S.? Well, it depends on the U.S. Secretary of the State. It's their call. But can the admin... But we're not bothered by it, if that is what you want me to say. You're not bothered by the signing of the spending we're bill? We're not bothered by it. First, that's their process. Cannot intrude in the same way that we react when they intrude into our processes. Mm -hmm. 
Number two, the very provision says there must be credible information before they ban any official in the Philippines. And you think there would be a credible information? That's precisely why I'm saying there is none. Okay. So you're saying parang walang 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 bearing kumbaga yung mangyayaring provision na ito kasi naging controversial siya. Yeah, kasi may kulatilya. Hindi naman just those who are involved in the detention. Hindi naman sinabing ganun. In the wrongful detention. You have to determine whether it's wrong or not. Salamat po. Pia? Sir, si Senator Laila Dilima has named President Duterte and even you as uh, one of those behind her political persecution. How would that affect your personal plans? You have plans to go to the United States. In the first place, I have no plans in going there. Number two, you know, the statements of Dilima has been completely repudiated by surveys after surveys conducted by credible organizations. The trust rating of the president has surged, as well as the approval rating of the president. The 5% disapproval rating is constituted by these people, the opposition, the detractors, the haters, the critics. So they're not credible, in other words. Do you have maybe plans to clear your name, sir, before U.S. authorities, no. if there is uh, such a platform, sir? No, none. Follow up? Thank you, sir. Other issue? Wala na? Joseph. The soundbite, ceasefire, NPA. Well, the president has approved the recommendation of the NVF as well as the government panel for a ceasefire beginning 23 of this month, midnight up to January 7, 11.59. This grant is precisely to generate uh, an atmosphere that will lead to preliminary talks and then formal talks for a peaceful negotiation on the present conflict between the two sides. Is it and we hope hmm. that this will pave the way for a lasting peace in this country vis-a-vis -vis the communist rebellion. So you said preliminary talks. Are there schedule na ba? Lapa. Quite informal. Lapa. Okay. Ina? Sir, what prompted the president to include uh, ES Medjaldea in the uh, negotiating panel? Uh, I do not know. Hindi ko alam. Mm. Pero sir, ano ang... Nakakulang pa kasi yung panel. Na, ang alam mo, dalawa lang sila. Okay, but uh, who will lead it? Is it going to be ES or Secretary Bell? I, I, I don't know about that. Okay. Sir, in March this year, the president issued a letter basically terminating up the peace talks as well as the panel. Is there going to be another letter to um, revive it formally? I will ask the president. Thank you, sir. P I, I mean, uh, Maricel. Sir, good morning. morning. Sir, considering yung mga previous reports na kasama si Presidente dun sa hit list ng NPA, what convinced the President to uh, implement the ceasefire despite the reports? First, that report is a false news because it has been denied by Jose Maria Sison himself. So we can, it, how can we respond to false news? But it was Secretary Esperon who actually informed because, the media about the Because precisely list. he was fed by a false information. The, mm. Jose Maria Sison denied it already. So you don't believe that uh, NPA is threatening the president right now? You believe in the statement of Choma Sison? Let me put it this way. The communist rebels will always want this government to fall. That is precisely the purpose by which this organization has been conceived from the very beginning. So it is not far-fetched that they want to eliminate all the officials running this government. But we're prepared for that. 
So do you trust that the NPA will, uh, ano ba, panghahawakan nila yung words? And as I said, it doesn't matter to us because the very, the very essence of a rebellion is to put the government down. So necessarily, kasama doon yung pag-assassinate ng lahat ng mga taong running the government, kasama lahat yung sa plano nila. But we are ready for that. They've been trying to do that for the last 50 years, and they have failed. Pia. Uh, sir, will the president push through with his schedule today in Cotabato? Yes. Despite what happened sir, yung bombing? Yes. Day? He will distribute land certificates and then visit the venues where the bombing took place. Uh, he will also include yung venue, sir, in the bombing? Yes, he will, he will visit. I don't know which of the two, but one of them. Sir, may information ba na receive ang government na yung bombing was connected to the visit of the president? Oh, no. Definitely not. Parang ang teenager ang nabasa ko doon sa isang report na. Teenager ang nagpasabog. It, Grupo ng mga teenagers. So it was now perhaps to deter the president to uh, push through with his schedule. Hindi naman si presidente noon eh, in the first place. Baka more, parang ang tingin ko, baka more on the reaction sa barn. Hindi ba kasi may dating grupo, tapos mawawala ng mga trabaho yung previous entity that will be replaced by Marn. Nakakasama yan. We don't know. Actually, ngayon, nag speculate lang. Thank you, sir. Follow up, Ace. Uh, Secretary, uh, previously, the military and the defense department said they, are not they were not keen in recommending the ceasefire because the NPAs that were using the ceasefire to celebrate their anniversary and to launch atrocities. Uh, did the president consider these uh, concerns by the security forces? Oh, definitely, since it was given to him. And he has decided. And why did he decide against that recommendation? What, as I said earlier, to create the condition conducive to a good atmosphere by which two sides can negotiate. But is Balakanyang uh, concerned about those, you know, issues raised by the military that the NPA might launch attacks during the... Oh, we're ready for that. We're ready. We're always ready. But you believe the NPA will do that oh. during the ceasefire As I said, period. any attack on, the, on, on their part will destroy the presumption of sincerity on this particular group. Okay, sir. Joseph. So you said kanina na yung kay, um, information ni Secretary Esperon na nasa hit list is uh, false news, no? But... It, it see, could be because it was denied by the top oncho of the Communist part of the Philippines. And you believe, Joma? Well... Deny, and as I said, even if it's true, we're ready for that. Okay. But Sir C. Secretary Anyo said that there, I think there was uh, two na napatay. Napatay ba yun? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Dalawang NPA official daw po ang napatay in a recent encounter in Quezon mm. City. And Secretary Anyo said that those were sent to uh, kill the president. Oh, yun, napatay na pala. Di, wala. That's what I said. No, but still, Kaya, that's... gawin nila, wala, mahirapan sila. But the threat is there. But the plan is there. Precisely as I said, the very organization itself is a threat to national security for 50 years. They have tried, but they have failed. Okay. Other issue? Or follow-up? Maricel. But meaning, sir, you're willing to take the risk to push through yes, with the Yes, because we don't want... The, 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 the president doesn't want more bloodshed of our own fellow Filipinos. We want it stopped. It's about time they return to the fold of the law. Okay, Pia and then Francis. Sir, ano nang mangyayari sa mga localized peace talks if ever na push through yung uh, a resumption of talks? Eh, siguro, depende yung kung ano pag-uusapan nila. Kasi right now, mayroon localized talks. They can always discuss whether it's tutuloy or hindi. Depende kung anong pag-uusapan nila. Pero itong decision ni President Duterte, um, is it 
a sign that or parang nakita po ba ni President Duterte that localized peace talks are not working? No. Ang kaya si alam niyo si Presidente ever since yun sabi niya I always leave a space for negotiation for peace talks. Palagi hindi ba siya sabi niya? It's always a jar. So any opportunity na feeling niya pwede pinibigay niya. Francis. Uh, sir, paulit-ulit na questions, pero I think three times na na-cancel na yung peace talks. So, what if nga after ng, ng suspension of ng, uh, ng ceasefire next year, tapos nagkaroon naman ng mga attacks, uh, anong gagawin ng gobyerno? So, titigil na naman po ba tayo or will the president na uh, choose na, sige, pagbigyan na lang natin for yung sinasabi nyo nga nyo na matuloy na nga itong peace talks na to. Regardless of the success of the peace talks, ano man ang mangyari, palagi tayong ready, whatever eventuality. Nagbibigay lang si Presidente ng buwang para magkaroon ng katahimikan ng ating bayan. Sabi nga sa may kasabihan tayo, kung hindi makakuha sa santong dasalan, eh sa santong paspasan na mangyayari sa kanilang dalawang panig. Pero subukan natin, baka naman magkasundo. MPC, questions? Follow up? Other issue, follow up. Other issue, Pia, and then Joseph. Mm. Sir, patanong lang ng office. Uh, what is, uh, ano po yung stand ng uh, Malacanang on Pogo, sir? Amid yung uh, crimes na nangyayari and other social issues linked to their mostly Chinese workers. Um, kasi si Senator Joel Villanueva said in a statement that the negative effects of POGOs outweigh the benefits amid all these issues. We have laws that will cover all imaginable situations or events occurring in relation to POGOs. So all we have to do is enforce them. And we are, and they are being enforced, in fact. May follow up done? Maybe he's referring to that particular kidnapping incident. <clears throat> but I understand the, the victim is, went back to her house. I would not say anything. Perhaps it was more of an internal conflict between the so called kidnappers. Sa van, then nagkaroon na siguro ng heated discussion. So, sir, um, ano yung sinasabi ninyo na strictly being implemented, sir, to prevent all these Yeah, if there is violation, again? like, for instance, if they're overstaying you, they have to be removed in accordance with law. Okay, Ace? Okay na? May follow up doon? Other issue. Uh, mag last question na ba tayo kay Joseph? Okay, Joseph. <laughs> last three. Checklist ng officer. Sir, any update on the budget na tanggap na ba ng palace and when is the president going to sign it? Wala pa akong info dyan. Okay. Ano? Pag next year na. Sir, yung Cubao Makati na five minutes, December na... <laughs> Nung sinabi niya yun, Give up na ba doon, sir? Di ba? Nung sinabi niya, on the condition na, uh, gaya na sinabi ko kay Chona sa kanyang programa, on the condition na uh, obtaining yung mga dapat. Eh, pero kung hindi pa, o hindi, hindi pa naman tapos ang term niya. So give up na tayo this December, sir? Wala eh, na yan? Eh, siguro. Ilang araw na lang eh. So paano, sir? Wala. Kalimutan na yung five minutes to... For at least for December. Oh, for December, kalimutan na muna natin. Unless you want to you know, ride in a chopper. <laughs> Speaking of choppers. Oh, yes. Uh, any comment on the charges against Pastor Kibuloy? <laughs> ano ba? Bakit? May, may, may bago ba? Meron pong rape charges. About? Against Pastor Kibuloy. No, no, no. Rape? Mm-mm. First, I do not know about it. Second, that should be a private matter involving the pastor. She will not intrude into that private domain. So hands off po yung palace. Hmm? Hands off yung palace. 
hindi natin kasi ano yun, private matter yun. You don't think the closeness of the president and pastor uh, would affect the case? No. Shouldn't? The rule of law in this country always prevail, regardless of who are involved. Sir, just in case, gami kanapi ng office. Alam na yap to prepare. So, presidente magpapas ko. Any activities in the? Sabi niya sa bahay lang daw siya. No activities, no gift giving stuff. Sabi niya sa bahay lang kanya kano. Yung gift giving di ko alam kung tapos niya tayo, di ba? Yung mga kids, okay na ba yun? Ah, di ko alam. I will ask. Dati dati meron. So, dun po sa Christmas and New Year. Hindi ko nga alam. I'll, I'll ask. Christmas at least. I'll ask the protocol. Sila nakakalam is kayo. But Christmas nasa Davao lang siya. Nasa Davao lang siya. With the Apos. Okay, sir. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Pia, may question. May lang. Pia. Uh, sir, reaction lang kasi the people in Sagada Mountain Province are opposing plans of the Ayala Group to develop uh, certain portions of their municipality for tourism purposes. Ano lugar to? Uh, sa Sagada, sir. Sagada Mountain Province. Kasi parang it goes against their unwritten rule down na dapat walang outsider na makakabili ng lupa and also they want to protect uh, their environment. So may stand na po ba ang Malacanang on this? Wala, wala akong alam na may stand. I think we have to ask first the tourism secretary. Domain niya. Thank you, sir. Okay. Maricel. Sir, kailangan lang ng office. Sir, soundbite lang. <laughs> Soundbite lang dun sa Pulse Asia trust and approval. Ah, oh, what rating. about Pulse Asia? So yun trust and approval rating. Soundbite it's a complete lang. repudiation of the rambunctious politicians and the cantankerous <laughs> critics and detractors. <laughs> it's about time they accept their fate. It is about time they accept the fact that this president is loved by an overwhelming majority of the Filipino people that this president is trusted by them. In fact, they are inspired by this president as the president is inspired by them. There is no president in the history of this country during his midterm that the rating went up, except for this president. The trajectory is always downtrend. It's unprecedented. It's a record-breaking rating. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Secretary Panelo. Thank you. Thank you, MPC. So, ito po ba daw yung last new briefing for 2019? Hindi, meron tayong pasok 20... Six? Twenty-six, twenty-seven? Pero pa tayo pasok, di ba? Unless you don't want it, I'll just issue statements. We need it. The public, sorry. Okay, so Merry Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Valentine. Okay, thank you, Secretary Panelo. Thank you, MPC. Back to our studio of People's Television Network.